Sit-ups target the abdominal muscles or abs, the muscles on the front and sides of your stomach. To do a sit-up, you have to lift your torso against the force of gravity. Exercises for your abs can strengthen muscles important for stabilizing your spine. However, there aren't any conclusive studies determining whether sit-ups are safe or effective for people with osteoporosis. Many people think sit-ups are not a good choice for someone with osteoporosis. You have to really round your back to do them, and the forces on your spine are high. Spine bone mineral density is often low in people with osteoporosis, increasing the risk of fracture. Some people think that sit-ups work the hip flexors hard and could cause back pain. The plank involves getting in the push-up position with your forearms on the floor and your body aligned in a straight line from your head to your feet. Push the floor away. Brace the muscles around your trunk. Hold for 10 seconds, rest for five seconds, and repeat. Try to do one to three sets on at least three days each week. Progress by increasing time or the number of sets. The plank activates a wide range of muscles. The spine is held in a neutral position and there's no bending or flexing of the spine. To make it easier, plank on a wall or counter. To make it harder, while in plank, extend one arm towards the wall in front of you or extend one leg towards the wall behind you. Hold. We don't know if sit-ups are safe for people with osteoporosis and there is reason to avoid them. Planks are probably a safer option and can challenge the same muscles. Ask a healthcare professional what exercises are right for you. Thanks for watching.